I'm in Barcelona on my way to Barna Art to order some canvases. Oh, record, it was recording. Yeah, yeah, record. 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 Oh, okay. And is that linen or canvas? This is that cotton. Cotton, right. Okay. okay. I usually do 120, this one, 120, 195, when P. 195 and 114. Yeah. This 8, 95 by 114. So when the canvases arrive at um, my studio, I'll do another vlog to show you them arriving. Um, but for now, I'll show you this canvas right here that I already have um, primed in a neutral gray. I have this set of golden acrylic neutral grays that goes from N1 to N10. So that means black to white basically and then every gray in between. It's standard practice to tone a canvas at some sort of mid uh, value in order to um, make it so that the whites come out and then also the darks come out. So it gives me more dynamic range in terms of tonal values. So I made this chart. Um, and what it, it shows is it shows uh, black to white and then um, the middle value is going to be N5. So I try to tone the canvases right at the middle value so that um, I get the most uh, possibility for the most potential for dynamic range. I've been sticking to this size canvas which is 195 centimeters by 114 centimeters. 195 by 114 centimeters. I do that because I think it's a good size for um, uh, domestic environments. I think that it fits just right. It's it's big and it's um, imp it can be imposing, but it's not so big that you can't fit it in your house, basically. Um, and uh, it is very impressive. It can be very impressive if it's over a, a mantle uh, or if it's on the main wall in the living room or wherever. I've also been painting on um, this size canvas, which is 146 by 97. And um, these are the two kind of canvas sizes that I've defaulted to, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But um, I think I'm going to probably be sticking mostly with this one just because I, I really love the size. It might seem unusual that I tend to stick to one or two size canvases, but I have this kind of thing that I call kind of a manufacturing fetish. I like to produce series of things. Uh, and I've long had that. Um, here's a picture of me in 1997 distributing a series of videotapes of movies that I'd made that year and I distributed them to my friends in Los Angeles before I left Los Angeles. And I made a bunch of uh, boxes um, out of sort of like uh, beer cooler styrofoam boxes and I spray painted stencils of um, the word manufact on them. And that's just because I just have this kind of fetish for manufacturing for some reason. I always have actually. I remember when I was a kid, I was obsessed with um, ball bearings. I would take them to school with me. All right, so that's it. So when the new canvases arrive, I will do another vlog just to show you them arriving and what they look like and stuff like that. All right, thanks for watching.